Hello everyone, it's Roberto here for American Sourcing and I just wanna let's talk about something that some um some people don't understand about going out and going in out of Florida. Uh, I, my company is based in Florida and my drivers are based in Florida so most of the time whenever they want to come home I have to bring them down to Florida. Uh previously we used to come we go from um Florida up to New Jersey, Johnstown and then to come down. And the reason that they usually pay you well when you're coming from anywhere down to Florida is the simple fact that they know that you're gonna lose money on the way out. What does that mean? Well, uh, my for example, from Miami to Georgia, I have seen loads that pay six hundred dollars, and you're like, what? It's a refer, it's a refer load. So what? Six hundred dollars, but you know, it doesn't even that doesn't need, that that won't, that won't even cover the the gas money. Yeah, that's right. You're right. It doesn't cover nothing, uh, but that's how 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 horrible Florida as a whole is. Uh, so whenever you go to New York and they pay you three dollars to come down to Florida, you're like, damn, I made a great deal. I'm about to make a thousand, two thousand dollars in profit. No, bro, you just lost a thousand dollars just to come up. Uh, so technically, you're you're only keeping half of that. And why do I say a thousand? Because usually a thousand, a thousand to a thousand five hundred, it's what I lose. To come up from here so i come empty i pick up a load in georgia or jacksonville and then we go up we drop in massachusetts and then we come down to uh johnstown and then we do you know we, we go from there um so yeah you know and then the same thing now for example new york now gas prices are off the roof and you're like damn okay that's crazy uh the same thing also so people that are like, oh my God, California is paying really well. They always pay really well. Well, not really. California is sucky now. But even if you, even if you get lucky, let's just say that you're trying to go from Florida to California, and they they want to pay you three thousand five hundred dollars for that. You know, they want to, they want you to go three thousand and something miles for three thousand five hundred dollars, maybe four thousand dollars if you get lucky, from Florida. So you're going all the way down there losing money and then your expectation is to get a load that is paying you at least three dollars or more uh in order for you to make you know to to pick up whatever you lost on the way there uh so what does that mean for you if you're based on florida that you lose a whole week of revenue just by coming out of your your state then if you have regular drivers that want to be out 21 to 25 days that only leaves you two more weeks to make money and then let's just say that you go from california to new york bam that's a whole week again you're down to two weeks so now you gotta stop planning to take your driver down to florida again you're gonna about to make you know good money down again for example me myself i usually make about two thousand dollars to come down so if we made two thousand to come up here and two thousand to come down, that's four thousand dollars minus the one thousand or two thousand that I lost to come over here. That leaves me with two thousand dollars in profit. And you're like, ah, well, two thousand dollars is what I pay for the truck. So really, uh, it's still it's a sucky system to to make it work like this. And I'm talking about if nothing nothing happens. Um, so yeah, it's one of those things that we gotta watch out for. Don't don't let the numbers fool you. If you're making three dollars and five cents or two ninety, two ninety eight, you're like, damn, I'm banking New York. Where are you coming from? What's your, what's the extra that you are not putting on on the numbers on paper? Don't fool yourself. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, um, I know that California has you know diesel prices that are almost like six dollars and something. New York is the same trending. New York, uh, we put gas at five seventy one last week. Uh, so yeah, those are things that you also have to take a look at, but you know, if you're all into this business, you, you kind of have an idea of, you know, where we're going with this. So let's just be, be honest with each other. That's what I'm trying to say.